Okay, we're going to move our turtle around for a while. Let's create our turtle here and let's set its size to 3 so that we can see him. Now if we want to move him up, let's say 4 places, 4 patches worth for a coordinate, y coordinate of 4, we can set his y core to 4. That's one way of doing it and see his knees moved up. But uh, let's move him back to the origin. We can also make him walk up there. He's headed in the right direction already, so let's make him move forward four steps. Uh, new command, forward four, gets him to the same place. Now if he wanted to move to uh, the other diagonal a point of a square that's four by four, in other words his x and y coordinates ought to be both four, we can of course absolutely set its coordinates to 4, 4 and there he is. Uh, but if we start from the beginning, from here, him at the origin, we can ask him to move f up 4 paces and then to turn up 4 paces, there we go, and then we can ask him to turn toward the right. We want to ask him to rotate clockwise by 90 degrees or turn to the right by 90 degrees. That's RT90. And notice that his heading is now due east. And then we'll ask him to move forward in the direction that he's going once more for steps. And if we were to figure out where he was, we could certainly click on his belly button, take a look at him, and we would see that he is at X core 4 and Y core 4. Now, let's bring him back to the origin and uh, make sure that he's headed in the same direction that he was born. That would be heading 0, that's north. Suppose we wanted to skip the uh, moving along the axis part and go directly on a diagonal to that other uh, diagonal point on the square. So we would actually ask him to rotate to the right by 45 degrees and now he's headed northeast and we have to figure out how far he needs to go in order to uh, end up at the other diagonal of the square. And the, since the side of the square is 4, that would be 4 square root of 2, and if you do that calculation, that would be approximately 5.66. And if he moves there, and we check once more where he went, we will see that he's almost exactly, although not exact, not perfectly, um, at coordinates 4, 4. Now we can do all of this together and we can ask him, for instance, to come back um, and we would want him to turn around, completely around, uh, so we would rotate we would rotate him uh, left by 180 degrees, we can rotate him left or right, and also to move forward by 5.66, and once he's down there, we want to set his heading to zero. Notice that I can type all of those on one line, and uh, NetLogo will figure out where each command starts and ends and execute them sequentially. And there he is, back at the origin. Please take a look and try the exercises.